Live from Acadia, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. I'm Renee Allen, a man arrested in connection to the shooting along South Pier Street in Lafayette Monday morning. The victim was taken to a hospital with a gunshot wound to the neck. Cody Pearson of Lafayette faces a charge of attempted second-degree murder. Following his arrest Sunday for battery, New Orleans Saints running back Alvin Kamara's court date has been set for March 8th. If con excuse me, convicted, he could face one to five years in state prison. A Jennings family escaped a weekend house fire with minor injuries. The Jennings Fire Department is encouraging residents to practice heater safety. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10 Rodrika Taylor. Vermilion Parish Superintendent Tommy Byler says the school board is exploring the idea of a balanced calendar to help with students' learning loss. However, the idea will not take place for next year. Last night, bells rang out to remember more the more than 900,000 lives that were lost to COVID-19 in America. But there are signs that the surge from the Omicron variant is falling. Good morning, Katiana. I'm News 10 to Lee Corville. Plans for a women's shelter are underway in St. Landry Parish. The parish is already home to the refinery mission, a place for men coming from jails, rehabs, or off the streets. The only one of its kind in the parish, parish president Jesse Bellard says he hopes this new shelter can be a similar safe haven for women. The New Orleans Saints have named their new head coach. Dennis Allen will reportedly be the 11th head coach in franchise history. The three items we put together today looking good. Tabouli, Lebanese cuisine on Ambassador Capri. Acadiana eats live on a Tuesday. Much more coming up all day long on KLF Y News 10. And it's a cold and somewhat frosty morning, especially if you're in northern Acadiana. Cool and sunny for everybody later on today. Lower 60s. Enjoy it. And we'll continue to see some warmer weather building in over the next few days. Well, Chris was just in Studio B, and he said it looks like a buffet line. And he's not lying. This morning, Tabuli came to cook for us. He's not. I'm jealous we're going to have to go. Thank you so much for joining us here on Pospot 2. We'll see you again at noon. We hope you have a great morning.